good shoulder warm up today. I get so many messages on Instagram, Facebook about what exactly I do to warm up my shoulders before a snatch, overhead squat, pull up. Um, so I'm gonna take you through some of my best exercises I do daily when I'm about to do some of these movements. First exercise I'm gonna demonstrate is the Cuban press. So for the Cuban press, you're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells around three to five pounds, something super light. And then you're gonna, elbows are gonna be in line with your shoulders. And then you're gonna externally rotate and press the dumbbells up. For the next exercise, we're gonna do scat push-ups. So you're gonna go down onto the floor. Similar to like doing a push-up, you're gonna keep your elbows straight and then you're gonna retract your shoulders on the way down. Protract on the way up. Retract on the way down. So think push, up, push away, squeeze together. Push away squeeze together and keep those elbows straight but I never lose my flow, I ain't messing with these hoes, I can mess it with my bros, now you messing with a pro, never stressing all the dough, what's a blessing, now I know my team winning it for show. So for the next exercise, we're going to do scat pull-ups. Now I know my team winning it for show. So find a pull-up bar, and then you're going to want to make sure you initiate the pull-up in a hollow body position. So you're going to jump up, and then in a hollow body position, you want to pull your scaps back and down. So it's gonna look like this. On a spleen, actual, actual facts that are practical. I'm about to tear you up. Why? I'm an animal, cannibal, Hannibal Lecter. Lie to your face, crime and it pays. Getting very passionate. This For the next is. exercise, we're gonna do a kettlebell windmill. You can either use a dumbbell or kettlebell. It doesn't really matter because you just want to pick out the right weight for this exercise. So you're going to want to press the dumbbell or kettlebell into the sky. Keep your feet at a 45 degree angle and you're going to want to focus on keeping that front leg straight. And then you're going to reach down as far as you can. So for some people it might be here or it might be all the way to the ground. And you're going to Keep that wrist neutral at the top and just go up and down. Another thing to focus on too is some people will really engage into that trap and you really kind of, that trap will go towards your neck. So make sure you keep your shoulder back and down as you're going down on this rep. And then same thing for the other side. So. Press the kettlebell or dumbbell into the sky. Legs at a 45 degree angle. Keep that front leg straight. And then you're gonna go as far down as you can while externally rotating that shoulder at the top. And make sure you focus on keeping that shoulder back and down. What it seems, I see the murder scene and run up on a spleen. Actual, For the next actual. exercise, is called a kettlebell crossover, so you're gonna lay down on the ground. Find a kettlebell or dumbbell, again with moderately heavy weight, but not where you're gonna sacrifice technique. And then you're gonna press a dumbbell or kettlebell into the sky. You're gonna bend that same leg that is on the same side as the arm pressing into the sky and then you're gonna rotate over to the opposite side. 
You're gonna do three circles one way, three small circles, and then three small circles the other way. Focusing on keeping that shoulder back and down and not engaging up in that trap. So you wanna keep that shoulder down and back. And then as soon as you do three both ways, you're gonna rotate back and then you're gonna go over again. So it's gonna really challenge the stability in your shoulder blade. So three one way, three the other. And then rotate back. So one repetition is where you do three circles one way, three the other way, and then rotate back. And then same thing on the other side. You're gonna bend that knee with that same arm that's elevated in the sky. And then you're gonna rotate over to the opposite side. Three circles one way, three circles the other way. And you really wanna make sure it's slow and controlled. Don't try to rush the circles. Exercise is called banded pull-aparts. You wanna find a lightweight resistance band at your gym, um, and then you're gonna have the band at chest level, and then you're gonna pull the band apart and squeeze those shoulder blades together. So make sure you don't engage up into the traps. Again, you want to keep your shoulders back and down, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and perform a reverse fly motion. So I hope you guys found my shoulder warm-up beneficial today. Um, remember, comment below what you guys want to see more of, so whether that's hip, mobility, um, ankle mobility, whatever it is, like I want to hear from you guys because I want to do more of this. Like it's not just about vlogging, it's also creating instructional content for all of you. So again, comment below. Thanks guys.